This is the Chesterfield Med Center. It's a facility that serves a sort of double life. During the day, Dr. Vladimir Gelfin treats his patients, but after office hours, his son takes over and does something quite different. Come see how the tools of medical science are used to create some intriguing art. I can I can see the that this is actually the superior exposure. Yeah, this, is the this is where the uh, outline is, is most dense. But Dmitri Gelfand and his artistic partner Avelina Dominic capture the inner beauty of natural objects with an unconventional medium, X-rays. We, of course, can manipulate the the, the distance as well. That's that's a factor. So why X-rays? It was quite simply the desire to look at the way in which this high frequency light, only slightly above the uh, capacities of our own bandwidth, penetrates matter. And here I press the button and we hear the sound telling us that we're ready to expose. Gelfand was two years old when he came to St. Louis from Russia with his parents. After attending Parkway Central and the Whitfield School, he went on to study filmmaking at New York University. It was in New York he met Domnich, a native of Belarus. She was studying toward a Ph.D. in philosophy at Fordham University. They've been collaborating for about six years. I would imagine you each have your own vision. How do you bring two visions together in, in, to a work? It's a question of balance, but it's also a question of uh, almost uh, different angles of that vision. This duo has created a collection of radiological still lifes. Many include seashells and sea creatures. But perhaps their most striking work to date focuses on themselves. It's called The Kiss. Quite unexpectedly, it looks uh, like biting. And um, some people even told us that this teeth on top of other teeth, it looks so unpleasant. And, um, and it also has another dimension of uh, a skeleton, a reminder of um, temporality of all things, that everything is going to go to the end, and uh, even love that is the most uh, immortal impulse. I never did serious art before I met Dmitri. I did drawing, painting, but it was not um, serious enough for other people to stop and pause and look at it and get lost in it. But um, definitely uh, I cannot imagine working alone without Dmitri. The Kiss was the centerpiece of a world debut exhibit at the Foxman Gallery in the Central West End entitled X. Most of the X-ray photographs and prints were illuminated to fully exploit the patterns inherent in all the objects and subjects. We were immediately inclined to look at uh, those forms which are so perfect in nature, uh, those that are sculpted by the sea. It's a little bit lower, but it, it's okay. works nice. It works, yeah, Doesn't it? It's, like it's yeah, a little yeah, yeah. pretty place. Gelfand and Domnich recently delivered a work to the home of one of their biggest fans, Contemporary Art Museum board chairman Susan Sherman. What I love about them is basically what I love about all contemporary artists that um, I love, it's fresh, it's new, it's exciting. Oftentimes it comments on what's happening socially, you know, social issues in the world today or what's going on across the oceans or whatever. But I suppose with them, it was just different. I mean, x-ray art, who ever thought of such a thing? And so I had to go check it out and, you know, 
the shopper that I am, I checked out the gallery opening, immediately bought a piece of art, and I just love it. You know, it's different. It's different, and I think they're really talented. They do a great job of explaining their work. You know, oftentimes with contemporary artists, you know, you come and you go, oh, my God, there are 500 fortune cookies piled up in the corner. What is going on? And they can't even really tell you, but these people do a great job of explaining their work, too. On the evening we visited Gelfand and Domnich at work, they were experimenting for the first time with pieces of crystal. They knew going in the results would be unpredictable. This exposure I like the best, but it probably will never become a, an artwork. But such trial and error is the nature of artistic exploration, as this creative team continues an aesthetic journey marrying science and art. In both areas, which once again we claim are the same area, there's endless mystery.